Hey everyone, so here's a scenario. You just finished training or doing your daily bosses or weekly bosses or whatever and now your inventory is filled with crap and what do you do with all that crap? So uh, we'll first start with our equipment tab. What I do is I get a profession to level 6. In this case I'm an alchemist and I desynthesize these equipments into crystals and philosopher stones and what have you. In regular server, the superior item crystals are very, very useful. They are used in crafting uh, the two-hour EXP and wealth acquisition potions. So the raw material itself actually sells quite well if you want to just sell it straight to the auction house. As of this video, it's somewhere in the realm of 220k for each crystal. Uh, it's just a nice extra bit of profit on top of the mesos you may have already made training. The Philosopher's Stones are also used in, I forget exactly what, but they're used in something, but they're not as expensive. And the Advanced Item Crystals are also used for things here and there, but they don't sell nearly as well. So mostly you're looking at these Superior Item Crystals, and now your Equipment tab is all taken care of. So, uh, what do you do next? Um, you cannot desynthesize these junk recipes that you get from training. And most of the recipes you get from bossing are also junk, I would say, unless you're level 11 of your profession. In this case, Master Craftsman for Alchemist is level 11. It's not Meister, it's Master. Um, uh, you could now level up your, uh, your crafting, but honestly, level 6 is good enough if you're just doing it to train the character and don't really need to worry about anything else here. Uh, you can level up your crafting pretty quickly if you just make a whole bunch of uh, recovery potions or uh, with the jasmine seed oil or I use the, um, where is it, the lemon balm. I have a lot of extra lemon balm, the, the health and MP uh, 3000 potions. These potions do not have a cooldown to craft. So starting at level 1 Alchemist, it'll have a high failure rate, but you'll level up your alchemy really, really quickly, like before you even reach 200 fatigue. And that's how I usually get to level 6 on these mules that I train. Um, but no need to get any higher for these recipes here. Uh, now these extra familiars that I have, I store, and I'm going to probably pop some of them on my Kali to try to get some cool, epic, and unique familiar lines. So I've been putting those on another character. Nodes, I've got a stack of nodes that I've just been saving up because this character doesn't need any more nodes. Potential scrolls, any elite boss loot like your uh, pure clean slate scrolls, etc. Uh, in your etc. tab, you might have some cubic blades or whatever that you found, some droplets. Put all these uh, other items in there. I transfer those over to my main to either just hoard or to sell in the auction house because they do sell and it's uh, just another little extra source of profit put in some spell traces, but I keep a stack going so that uh, it just it stays in the spot in my inventory that I want it. And the rest of this use material items, I just sell. Uh, the Sunset Dew and Ranger Milk, I see people drop all the time, but it's actually a nice little source of profit. So this is how much I got from two hours of training, 800, 700. I have 142 mil right now, so both of them 148 mil. It's just a little bit of extra profit. There's no need to drop them when it's selling them goes so fast. You just right click it and hold down your enter key and it goes real quick. Um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much how I clean out my inventories whenever I do bosses or whenever I train. Hope this helped. Uh, it definitely helps me get extra mesos or materials for my crafts that I try to keep up. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.